How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a Russian River up in this piece in the form of Blind Pig. Um, it has been the summer of hot. I mean, everybody knows that. that. It's been super oppressive in 2021 as far as he goes outside. This is the first day that I can remember in a very, very long time that it actually didn't get to 80 degrees um, on a day. It's still hot. It's still in the high 70s, but it was comfortable enough, shady enough for me to come out and actually do an outside review. I love doing them. Usually try to bang them all out in the summer, but you know how it is. But anyway, we have this little jammer. It comes courtesy of my boy Oak Ridge. Uh, he was out that way or he had beer mailed his way. I'm not quite sure. But um, this is uh, bottled on... In February, so keep that in mind at 12:30 in the afternoon, um, or at night in the morning. I don't know. They don't have AM, PM on here. Russian River Brewing Company, and this is a 6.525%. Blind Pig is a prohibition term for a speakeasy. Our very first brewery was named Blind Pig Brewing Company, which was located in Tagaluma, California. It was here that we first fell in love with IPAs and hops. Our Blind Pig IPA is generously hopped with hints of citrus, woody notes, and a lingering bitterness. Keep refrigerated and consume fresh to best enjoy this beer's intense hot character now i'll post this one at the same time that i post um the uh pliny review that um oak ridge actually gave me too that one was quite a bit different than what i remember um and it could have been a time thing on how that beer kind of came off because it was hazy it drank relatively similar um to what I remembered, but it had no kind of nose that represented what I remembered, but it was quite tasty, quite delicious, but it was a hazy beer, and I remembered it being quite clear. Um, that could be a time thing. I know a lot of people, you know, IPAs have to be fresh, but some of these old school jammers hold up over time, and some actually need to be drank more quickly than not. So let's see there this one looks. Now, this is what I remember actually uh, Pliny looking like, um, but this is my pick. Like I said, about two degrees or two abvs off of what it typically is uh label wise it's cool i mean it's not even a good label it's just kind of old school and it's just kind of romantic so i like it uh beer wise story time more story time let's make this review nine miles long um i have these glasses i love these glasses people actually message me all the time about these glasses i broke my last one so i just got a brand new set in this is actually quite a bit thicker than the other one so i'm kind of bummed that i broke my last in one but anyway what does that beer look like it looks like a rich orange amber looking kind of a soft little west coast ipa set a little haze to it but that's more of an unfilteredness thing as opposed to a really big kind of haze profile to it what is what could be no head on it yeah it looks all the part of a west coast jammer let's get a nose see this one comes off quite a bit more piney quite a bit more resinous um than pliny did for me um it doesn't have that kind of pop to it um as far as like being a bigger beer but it definitely has more West Coast leanings to it. And more orange on this one kind of goes into marmalady territory. There's a nice soft piney resiness to this beer, but nothing too over the top. But then again, we're not dealing with a huge ABV beer, but it smells quite nice. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ah, a super crusher status here. I mean, it is like giving you kind of like it's not. I was going to say it's kind of like a, a more muted, a smaller version of Pliny. Actually, it's nothing like that. Um, it does have some of the hot, same kind of hot presence in it. But the way that orange comes off on the um, on Pliny, it came off a little bit more kind of new school uh, kind of uh, juiciness to it. This one's, like I said, a bit more marmalady. Not hard candy, but a little bit kind of sweetened orange. The bittering on here comes off probably a little bit more piney than resinous, but there is this kind of icky, sticky weed thing that comes through it too, so I dig that. Mouthfeel's what I really expect from like a classic West Coast kind of IPA. Even though this has this haze to it, it drinks almost squeaky clean. It's just tasty. I mean, it's not rewriting record books. It's not changing what I think about West Coast IPA. Um, I wouldn't even call this, I mean, it is West Coast influenced IPA, but it's its own thing. It tastes like a West Coast old school hopped IPA more than a through and through super West Coast IPA. More pale ale than anything else rather than an actual IPA. That's kind of how it comes off for me. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. I dig it. I think it's fun. I think it's tasty. It's a perfect beer for crushing outdoors. I'm sitting outdoors. You do the math. And really tasty stuff. It's been a fun little journey going through these two Russian River beers because 
even though I've had this one, I think only once or twice before, but I've had Pliny quite a few times, they were different than what I remember and expected, but not in a negative way. Um, I wouldn't say in an overtly positive way either. It was kind of a lateral move, but it was, it was just going back and revisiting and, and being able to actually review them because I'm blown away that I haven't ever reviewed Pliny, let alone this before. And it's just honestly just really well-made beer. And that's kind of the Russian River. That's the Vinny thing, man. It's, it's just like, let's make uber well-done beer. It doesn't matter whether it's mixed culture, barrel-aged stuff. doesn't matter. You know what I mean? If it's high PA, it's got to be done well. It's got to be done clean. It's got to be done great. And this is that. You know, I mean, like I said, it's, it's not a, a, a world-defining beer. But at the same time, it's damn tasty. I'm glad I got the drink. It's, thank you very much, Darren. Um... Is this one of the better West Coast IPAs that I've had as late? Yeah, it's not, it's not Mount Rushmore status, but it's damn tasty. Valued availability on this, no idea. Let me know what's what. West Coasty people. And uh, if you like what we like this beer. I mean, if you like West Coast IPAs, but you don't want anything too crazy over the top, palate wrecking bonkersness, maybe it was a little bit more of that, closer to the born on date. But um, if you like just classic, well made, tasty West Coasters, you'll dig this. So there you go. A little bit of a. A little bit of Russian River in the books. A little bit of Micah Bean in the books. Come on, show him. He's got his yank. Yeah, my wife doesn't show him. <laughs> she, she's shy. You're not going to be able to see him. It's okay. No worries. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then there's Taco. How in the world could you not have Taco? Do you know if he's in there? Ah, he could. They can sit up. Look at this guy here. <laughs> yeah, we had our four-month checkup today, bud. Yeah. You took it like a champ. Such a big boy. I love you. Love you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this one. Um, massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer by Seif. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of Russian River right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.